This is my epic story of how I discovered a real whale tooth in Ohio on the land. We're not even talking about Lake Erie on dry land. So this is my story. It was a bright and sunny day in May. I think it was last May, 2023. And I was driving to my favorite thrift store. I'm a vintage and antique dealer. So I, you know, I frequent various thrift stores to find who knows what. You got to look, otherwise you'll never know. So I was there looking at the knickknack rack. I love the knickknack rack because there you could find anything. Chalkware, statuary, old vases with the obligatory, you know, thrift store chip. Um, you can find cool little holiday seasonal knickknacks uh, religious things you can find uh, i mean you gotta look otherwise you'll never know so one day i found this and i assumed it was like it was facing it was facing like that i assumed oh cool it's an old souvenir right because i collect souvenirs i feature them in my in my store and on my channel there's something about the allure and the aesthetic and the nostalgia of an old cheap souvenir that just strikes the right chord for me and hopefully for you too. So um, I saw this on the knickknack shelf and I said, cool, it's got to be like a, you know, plastic whale tooth from wherever. It was a couple bucks. So I bought it. And then, and I, you know, and I, when I got home, I went through what I found uh, for the day and I wanted to check out this plastic, you know, whale tooth and see where it was from. I thought maybe in somewhere in Florida, maybe, I, 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 you know, just a cheap souvenir, right? And when I picked it up and looked closer, I'm like, wait, this feels kind of real. Because, you know, I collect various natural, uh, you know, artifacts. I have a few, you know, like deer bones and horns and stuff. So, I, you know, I have an, an idea of what a natural, you know artifact of an animal could, could feel like right a bone or a horn or a tooth so it made me take a second look and i did some research online of how to test you know because i have bake light and various other items how to test to make sure they're real right or authentic so online various places said to get like a sewing needle and get it red hot and then find an inconspicuous place on your item and then just prick it and if it's plastic the item will it'll it'll emit smoke and it'll smell like a burnt plastic very obviously and you'll see a little bit of melting around it and if it's real bone or tooth or horn it will not do that it won't smell like plastic it may smell like a little bit of burnt hair it won't be as the smoke won't be as dramatic and there will be zero melting so i got i did i did a test and to my surprise uh it did not react like plastic or resin. I know resin, you know, especially like, you know, Chinese made resin items can look really real, like bone or horn. I used to live in Shanghai, China for over a decade. So I know there's a lot of fake like bone carvings made of resin. So this, I thought it was that, but this is not. It, it's an actual tooth from a, a whale. I'm not an endor you know, I'm not endorsing by any means, you know, whale objects or herding whales. I love whales, but I bought this, you know, secondhand, assuming it was a plastic, you know, cheap souvenir. Uh, so now I'm going to be respectful to it and learn about it. And this video is part of that learning process. So what did I learn about this? Azores, Portugal, these are islands in the Atlantic Ocean. There's a sperm whale. Uh, it's not scrimshaw. Scrimshaw is like when it's carved or etched. This is a, this is done in some kind of really nice fine art marker, permanent marker of some sort. Very fine, but it's it's great artwork. It's signed, it's a sperm whale, out in the sea. It's got the various islands. So now the Azores, they were a whaling hub. In the Atlantic Ocean, I did my research, um, from the early mid 19th century to the mid 20th century. So we're talking probably like 18, early 1800s to like 1950-ish. It was a whaling hub. 
and apparently the Azores, uh, the whalers were renowned for their skill, their skill at sea, and they were even hired um, to work for American whaling companies because they were so good at what they did. So this, so there's no surprise that this this would be a, a sperm whale tooth from there, from that area. I have no idea how this whale died. I'm hoping it's natural, natural, very you know peaceful, natural death. But I have no way of knowing that. You can see it's semi-hollow. I've only had a uh, I had a fossilized whale tooth and I sold it. I wish kind of had it now. It was all black and it was kind of like the size. Um, so I was kind of vaguely familiar with, with whale teeth, um, but now I'm, like I said, much more familiar. But you can see it's not completely hollow, but it does go a good ways down. It's about four inches. Uh, I used uh, AI to find some uh, other information, and it says roughly sperm whale teeth are between four to eight inches in length. So, you know, it's a little bit over four. I mean, can you imagine the creature that had this tooth? It's, 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 that's amazing that there's animals still alive that are this large. It's, it's, it's incredible. So, and also, you know, when I looked at this up closer, you know, I realized, you know, they seldom does a Chinese artisan take the time to add the aesthetics of, and the nuances of a natural tooth. You know, I have a lot of fake uh, Chinese resin items that are, you know, that are artificially antiqued and aged. Um, and they're more of a, you know, it's a, like a pattern or a, this is more, I mean, you can just see the nuance to it, you know, whereas in a, a man-made antiqued or natural looking item, you can just see it's just like a, a quick, uh, like coat of a beige paint, you know, um, whereas this just has a lot happening color wise and texture uh, i can i can feel these these lines these grooves are very subtle but you can feel them i'm, I'm assuming that's natural i'm not sure if this was if this was finished uh with, with the artisan that you know artisans that 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 finish these and make these you know that paint and sell these teeth but you can see it's it's well it's a, it's a, it's a fine pen that made this. So I believe this to be a sperm whale. Um, what else have I learned about this tooth? That this is I mean you know there's not that many. If what else could it be? Um, orca whales teeth their, their teeth are much smaller, and then you have baleen whale that don't even have teeth like this. So. Plus, there's a sperm whale right there. So I think it's a safe bet to say this is a sperm whale. I even showed this to AI. I took a, a photo of it, and I said, what do you think this is? And it said, probably a sperm whale. So so there you have it. Um, it's a gorgeous tooth. I'm going to, you know, keep learning about this. Um, I'm just going to keep it and teach my, you know, kids about whales. I couldn't even sell this. On, on eBay, there's, if you do your research, you're not allowed to sell, to sell. Um, items like this, uh, whales are a hot topic, of course. Um, but I'm, this has become, you know, a, a souvenir, a cheap souvenir pickup became a, a learning process about sperm whale. So you never know what you find, but you gotta look. Um, but there's, yeah, there's a lot of like weird laws. Like I think there's some websites because then, then I did research. I'm like, oh, well, you know, what do I do with this thing? Um, I think in some some states out west, like uh, what is it? it's Colorado, like where you can buy and sell whale teeth, but they can't leave the state or this, I don't know, there's a bunch of like weird laws, but I'm not looking to sell this. I'm just going to keep it and learn about it. Um, I assumed it was a plastic fake tooth until I took a closer look. You see there's a crack there. I think that's kind of what caught my eye, you know, where a, a plastic or a resin would just be, you know, solid right here. It wouldn't have a, they wouldn't take the time to you know, drill a hole or, you know, dig a hole in it. So that's my story of how I discovered a real whale tooth in Ohio. I encourage you all to get out, 
and look and see what you can find. And as always, thanks for checking in.